What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video today. So based on my calculations, Global's 3 year anniversary is only about 2 to 3 weeks away at this point and I know everyone is super excited to find out exactly what's about to go down. In a prior video, I already covered how many Dragonstones us Global players can expect to receive over the course of the celebration. If you guys haven't watched that one yet, I definitely recommend you go check that out. Well today, we're going to switch things up a little bit and talk about probably the second most valuable resource in the entire game, Potential Orbs. More specifically, I want to break down for you guys exactly how many Potential Orbs of all types and sizes we can expect to receive over the course of Global's upcoming 3 year anniversary celebration. As always, I'm not a Bandai spy, like some people we know, and I don't have any insider information, so all the information in this video will be based off of what happened on the JP side of the game during their 3 year celebration. So while there are no guarantees that everything will play out the same on the global side of the game, we'll call it an educated guess. Okay, so let's talk some potential orbs. When JP got their 3 year anniversary celebration, players were able to get a ton of potential orbs from various sources. I tried my very best to compile all the available information out there for this video, but there is a chance I missed something along the way. If I did, please understand that I'm human and I make mistakes. I would really appreciate it if you let me know in the comments down below exactly what I missed so that everyone else can be filled in as well. Now why don't we start small and get progressively bigger from there. That's what she said. Number 1. Limited Missions With the 3 year anniversary came a new event called Full Power Goku, 6 Days to the Edge of the Galaxy. Clearing this event a certain number of times gave out orbs of each type from limited time missions. To be honest, I don't remember how many orbs we got, but I found a post that said it was 100 small orbs of each type. While this does seem a little bit low to me, I couldn't find anything else on the topic, so for the sake of conservatism, let's go with that. At this point, we have 100 orbs of each type for a total of 500. Number 2. Easy A Kid Gohan Event As with all Extreme Z Awakening events that rewarded orbs for clearing each stage, the Easy A Kid Gohan Event was no different. Except for the fact that this one actually gave out a ton of orbs of all types. We will be getting orbs from stage 1 all the way up to stage 77. Now I realize that not everyone will be able to clear all the stages to collect all the available orbs, so why don't I do it like this. I will go ahead and do a subtotal between stages 1 to 30 and then do an overall total of available orbs that can be acquired between stages 1 to 77. If you guys are interested in checking out the list for a full breakdown of orbs for each stage, I will provide a link to the reddit post down below. So here goes. Clearing stages 1 to 30 will net you a total of 340 small orbs, 270 medium orbs, and 22 large orbs of all types. If you multiply that by 5 for each of the types, that's a total of 1700 small orbs, 1350 medium orbs, and 110 large orbs. Now if we also factor in the stages up to 77, then things get a little crazy. So when everything is added together, you will be able to get up to 1440 small orbs, 1085 medium orbs, and 84 large orbs of all types for a final total of 7200 small orbs, 5,425 medium orbs and 420 large orbs. Now we add all those orbs to the overall celebration total and we are currently at 13,545 orbs. Moving on, we have the stamina campaign. The way this worked on JP was that all players received rewards for the total amount of stamina used during the event. Step 4 of the campaign, which was unlocked when 1.1 billion total stamina was expended, rewarded all players with physical orbs in the amount of 1,500 small, 1,200 medium, and 100 large, or 2,800 total orbs. We're now at 16,345 orbs. The next one is Perunga Wishes, and this is a big one guys. As you may know, we will be getting 3 sets of Perunga Namekian Dragon Ball Wishes as part of the celebration. One of the wishes is Potential Orbs, which rewards you with 10,000 total orbs. Sure, you can decide not to choose that one as one of your wishes, but like, why would you do that? So assuming that everyone chooses the orb wish 3 times, that's 30,000 orbs. For those interested, the breakdown of the 10,000 orbs is 1,300 small orbs, 640 medium orbs, and 60 large orbs, 
and obviously those are all multiplied by 5 for the 5 different types. So if we add in the 30,000 orbs, we are now at 46,345 orbs. Type banners. Throughout the celebration, we'll be getting special type banners that can only be pulled on once. Summoning on said banners will net you 3,333 orbs of that banner's type. The breakdown is 1,800 small, 1,400 medium, and 133 large. So 3,333 multiplied by 5 is a total of 16,665 orbs. While I recognize they have to spend dragon stones to get these orbs, I highly, highly recommend everyone to summon on these banners. This deal is simply too good to pass up. Our total is now up to 63,010 orbs. The last thing I want to talk about are hidden potential events. For one month during the celebration, all hidden potential events will be open during the weekends. Of course, this can get a little tricky because you have the option of taking three different paths for each run, so it'll be difficult to do a breakdown of different orb sizes. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go off personal experience and say on average we can expect to get 200 small orbs, 100 medium orbs, and 6 large orbs per run. Now we multiply those numbers by 5 for the different types, and then 8 for the number of days to reach a total of 12,240 orbs. We finally made it. Adding up everything that has been discussed up to this point, we come to a grand total of 75,250 orbs. Now I want to give an honorable mention to potential top grossing reward orbs, but we don't know if it's going to be tickets or stones or potential orbs or a combination of the three, so I'm just going to leave that out. But there you have it. Over the course of Global's three year anniversary celebration, we can expect to receive approximately 75,250 in total orbs. Between the three different sizes, that's 45,700 small orbs, 27,225 medium orbs, and 2,325 large orbs in total. Since it takes 4,370 small orbs, 2,475 medium orbs, and 227 large orbs to take a unit from 0% to 100% in the hidden potential system, you will be able to fully rainbow about 10 units with some orbs to spare. That is ridiculous! That'll do it for today's video. Like I said, all the numbers here are based off my own research and personal experience, so there's a chance that I made a mistake or missed something along the way. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown and found it useful. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, and you like what you see and you want to see more of it, then what are you waiting for? You only have one choice. Hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing up.